Hello, good evening, and welcome back. More contradiction in terms. For the BBC general election 2019, Jeremy Corbyn rules out arbitrary immigration target. Although, in a way, he kind of explains why the immigration target is there, and even suggests it's a good idea, and uh, we'll get onto that. Um, in, in fact, he <laughs> he gives it support in two ways. So, <laughs> let's get right into it. Jeremy Corbyn has refused to say if he wants the number of immigrants coming to the UK to rise or fall. Although he kind of said they should fall, although I don't think he understands it. In an interview with the BBC, the Labour leader said people should be realistic about needing to fill jobs so the economy's needs can be met. Right. So, in that case, filling jobs, then you can have everyone, yes. Because you don't care about unemployment, you just care about job vacancies. Basically, fill all the jobs, and we don't care how many people come over who can't do a job, or how many people here can't do a job, uh, because that doesn't matter. All that matters is that there aren't any jobs available. That's what we want. He said putting arbitrary figures on it as successive governments have done simply doesn't work. No, because they don't stick to them. The Tories say they would aim to cut overall immigration, but will not set targets if they win the election, as they have continually failed to even get it under 100,000 uh, net immigration. Yes, I mean... <laughs> There were more illegal, more than double that amount of illegal immigrants per year. But, anyway, they say BBC Home Editor Mark Easton said immigration was not the electoral issue it once was, with polls saying is it is at its lowest level of concern for almost two decades. But it is still very high concern. That's a rather misleading quote. But he added, some communities remain concerned that foreign arrivals put extra pressure on public services and jobs, and those voters are often in the Labour seats that the Tories are looking to take. Yes. And surely this is where, if you want to be realistic about the amount of people that are coming in, and you don't set arbitrary figures, in that case, when you're talking about the infrastructure we have, whether that's of uh, the services or if it's physical infrastructure, uh, like roads or schools, for example, the actual buildings, hospitals themselves, then there is an issue of bringing in too many people that you then can't build fast enough and there isn't enough land, especially with all the red tape and regulations of how long it takes to build any bloody thing, then you can't provide for enough people and therefore everybody suffers, including the people who come over. It's not good for them because it isn't the country that they're hoping to come over to if they wanted to be part of Britain, not just a sponge of it. So I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, and even then, it isn't good. In an interview with BBC political editor Laura Kunzberg on a campaign visit to Scotland, Mr Corbyn hinted that Labour would make it easier for families to bring relatives to live in the UK from overseas and for foreign workers to come to the UK. Right. He said Labour's immigration policy was based on fairness and justice and on the economic needs of our society, and they are considerable. Yes, OK, in which case, you can't have so many people that you're straining the resources, especially if you wish to make the things free at the point of use, which is to say, of course, increase taxes. But you can't do that when you have so many people coming over, which is why, despite the Tories pumping in so much into the NHS, they, they are still failing to meet their demands. Uh, the issue is then compounded with the Labour's idea, despite the, the contradictions, depending on who you ask, that going to a four-day work week or 32 hours over 10 years also affects the NHS. In that case, you need to recruit more people, but of course seeing as the proportion of, of people who wish to be uh, enrolled in that sector is already too low, uh, if you reduce the amount of working hours people can have, then you're only going to compound the problem and make it worse. Again, government intervention makes things worse. Mr Corbyn added, we have to be realistic that in this country we have 40,000 nurse vacancies, we have a great shortage of doctors, we have shortage of many skills, and they cannot be met very quickly because we're not training enough people, so there's going to be immigration in the future. Right. In that case, might you suggest who you wish to bring in, and it suggests then that you wish to be very careful about who you bring in, just so they can fill the, the skilled occupations that you're trying to get. In that case, maybe something like a point system, maybe what Australia does, maybe something that the Conservatives are trying to get through. Oh, that doesn't quite sound right. I mean, that doesn't sound like unfettered immigration at all. Um, therefore, it seems to be a, an, a contradiction in terms if you wish to make it easier for, for people to come in and then bring their families along if they're not contributing. Surely that's then going to be a problem, but I, I suppose you haven't thought this through because, again, you're going with emotions and feelings instead of facts and logic. Feels before wheels, if you will. So in that case, if you wish to say, hmm, 
well, we, we need to fill these spots, then either you need fewer people in the country who are using these resources, or the people you bring in need to be of a higher caliber. Either way, either way. The simpler way is, of course, to say we will take care of our own. Cool, job done. We can therefore train the people uh, quick enough as we need to, and uh, the, I mean, the market would reallocate accordingly, going by demand and scarcity, in order to make it more appealing to people when uh, there's more need. But when the government are um, taking payment and giving payment, then they don't know what's going on because centralized command never works. They don't understand the market. Um, nobody does. It's all done by on an individual basis, and then it's accumulated uh, together. Um, in a, in a big amalgamation which all works without anybody knowing how it works. So asked the end whether he wanted the figure to be higher or lower, the Labour leader just said, I want our system to be decent, to be fair, and our services to be properly run and properly staffed. Okay, in which case you, you want the figures lower. Cool. Good. We agree. But that's not what you think, is it? So freedom of movement. Mr Corbyn said a motion passed at his party's conference calling for freedom of movement, the right of EU citizens to live and to work in any other EU country, to be maintained and extended after Brexit doesn't, necess doesn't necessarily form part of the manifesto. Good. Uh, it would be nice if you actually had a firm position on this. But then again, of course, that means you'd have to stick to your guns. <laughs> Hang on, you don't like guns. Um, <laughs> this is despite, his, um, despite Diane Flabbert tweeting earlier about Labour's commitment to the pledge. Yes, their, their party is full of contradictions, and uh, whoever you ask, you get a different answer. So nobody really knows what's going on. I think John McDonald is really the, the driving force behind this, and whatever he says goes, but people don't know what he says before he says it, of course. Then they have to you know, get some good spin doctors in order to decide how it's then going to make sense. So, moving on, he said, I think that uncertainty should finish, they should have guaranteed rights to remain in Britain. Okay, again, that's not going to work out if they're not the people here that are going to help the country, because otherwise they're making it worse for themselves and other people who are here, people who came in before them, and anybody who would come in after them as well. Which is why you might find, in fact you often find, um, immigrants who came in a few decades ago are the most staunch protectors of strong immigration policies, because the people after them are making it worse for them as well, in which case they want the same regulations to be set, because they wanted to join the country they've moved to because it is that country that they wish to be a part of and not because they wish to destroy it, as later people do when open borders are there. Um, but again, let's, let's see how, how Corbyn goes off-piste with greedy bosses. Mr Corbyn said Labour's eventual policy on immigration would also depend on the outcome of Brexit. Uh, yes, they'd renegotiate a deal and then put that to the votes to say, are you going to vote for our deal or not, and then we'll stay or leave. Have yet another vote, which he called a sensible approach, well of course you would, um, you're not quite going Trump enough to say, this is the best. People say it. I don't say it, but people say it. Mr. McCluskey told the BBC, Labour's policy will be to protect all workers, migrant workers, as well as British workers. It will be done with labour market regulations. Um, yes, the market regulations, of course, meaning that you might protect the worker, I suppose, but there will be no job security, in which case you will make it worse for the worker. He says, it won't stop the free movement of labour. It will effectively make certain that greedy bosses, agency companies are not abusing working people. Uh, well, they, they can't because, seeing as you say there are so many vacancies, people could just move somewhere else. Uh, if they don't wish to move there, then they're going to have to raise their um, raise their pay. But you're not letting them do that. We're talking about the NHS here, in which case, no. And if you curtail their pay at the top end, then of course they're going to move to another country in order to earn more. And the net migration pledge, they just reiterate what's been said before that he says, oh yeah, we, we, we don't care, we'll let in as many people. And the Tories saying, okay, so we gave you numbers of how many we're gonna reduce it to. We failed at that repeatedly. So this time we're just gonna say we're gonna get them down. Um, some amount, some amount. In fact, <laughs> Mrs. Patel was asked several times before saying the party would look to reduce the numbers through better immigration controls. So they haven't even guaranteed that they would they're saying they have a plan for a points-based immigration system, and they would look to reduce the numbers, but instead of saying, yes, we'll definitely get a below 100,000, seeing as they know they can't do that, and now they're being hold to account, as they should be, they're now saying, yeah, we'll look to reduce it. So we might do it, and by an unspecified amount. Which basically means, if it doesn't happen, we can say we're still looking into it, and if it does happen, even by one, we can say, well, we are reducing it. So they get a win-win both sides, which is ridiculous. You can't support a position like that, because it isn't a position. But anyway, 
What do you guys think? Let me know. Do you think Labour is a contradiction in terms? Or, or am I missing a point here? Um, <laughs> small brain and, and can't see the, the bigger vision that, of course, socialism will finally get right after the over 100 million deaths it's inflicted around the world. Finally, this will be the one. Always intrigued to hear what you guys have to say, so please do post down below. And uh, while you're at it, <laughs> give this a like, subscribe for more, share this video around. It's, uh, YouTube always hates this. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Have a good evening.